In this module, we will talk about again the construction material in fermenter design. As we have seen in our previous module while talking about uh, the glass as a construction material, but the limitation is that cannot be utilized for industrial scale that can only be utilized on a laboratory scale or to some extent on a pilot scale. But when we talk about the construction material on a pilot scale or on an industrial scale, we have to think over an other choices. So, as concerned the other choices, so there is normally there is a choice to use the stainless steel or at least that stainless steel which have cladding to limit the corrosion. So, as concern there are different varieties of the stainless steel. So, as concern the American Iron and Steel Institute AISI that state that the steel that have defined that what will be at what concentration and what will be the composition of the steel and what in what condition and what composition that can be referred to as a stainless steel. So, in this slide you can easily see that as concerned AISI reportings that if the steel have less than 4 percent chromium then that can be only called as uh, the steel alloy. But when the chromium percentage is more than 4 then that can be classified as stainless steel. When we talk about the mild steel, in mild steel cases that can only be coated with the glass or phenolic epoxy material, but that is occasionally used in fermentation as a construction material. But that is such material is reported by different uh, fermentation scientists and you can see that biochemical engineers by reporting the construction material of the ferment fermenters. But in this slide as I have written here that wood, plastic and concrete bricks mean have been used, but the limitation for such material in case of wood, plastic and concrete when there is no risk yeah, we can say that there is no any care about the contamination. And we know that in case of very normal uh, uh, we can say that ordinary fermentation that concern the biogas fermentation in which some solid state fermentation in some uh, oriental food fermentation where there is no contempt no uh, risk of uh, we can say that uh, if there will be a contamination that is no more uh, problem for that. So, in such cases we can utilize uh, uh, these materials wood plastic and concrete. The golden example of these material that is mostly used in uh, biogas fermenters either on household level or on uh, industrial level or a large scale levels. You can see in this slide that uh, different uh, uh, fermenters and uh, this. So, in this you can see that the mostly the stainless steel material is in these fermenters, but that is why we are preferred as using the stainless steel that is mostly that stainless steel is a corrosion resistant that depend upon the existence of a very thin hydroxide film on the surface of the metal. So, that is why that can withstand the corrosion properties. So, that uh, is the basic property of the stainless material. While selecting uh, the construction material we have to be focused upon rolling, pickling and heat treatment to that material. So, either that withstand either we can have in general speaking because when we have to construct the fermenter vessel we have to need the joint or a welding. Sometimes we have to uh, select such material which we can have a very smooth surface and we can easily fix the weld uh, joints by welding. So, we have to use that material that should be non porous 
insoluble and self healing because sometimes when there is a corrosion some materials have self healing process if that is damaged and then the film is repaired by even that exposed to the air with the oxidizing agent so as concerned the minimum amount of the chromium needed to resist the corrosion that will depend upon the uh, corroding agent in a particular environment such as acids alkali gases oil salt and fresh water so by increase the chromium content enhance the resistant to the corrosion but only the grade of the steel containing at least 10 to 13% chromium develop an effective film so when we talk about the different grades of the stainless steel so then apart from the chromium there is also the sublimation or supplementation of the nickel and other metals to increase the properties of the stainless steel as in case that uh, the inclusion of the nickel in high percent chromium steel enhance their resistance and improve their engineering properties so apart from the chromium nickel and then there is an other addition that is the molybdenum so if you add the molybdenum that improve the resistance of stainless steel to the solution of halogen salt and pitting by chloride ions in brine or a sea water like uh, materials so the corrosion resistance can also be improved by adding of uh, tungsten and silicon and with other elements so if we you talk about if we uh, if we will talk about the actual composition of the different steel uh, stainless steel materials then we can uh, uh, consult with the different uh, parameters discussed by different research institute uh, working on the improvement of stainless steel qualities